Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a cute little penguin um, with some mountains in the background. So we are going to start off with black, white, purple, blue, red, and pink paint. I'm going to have my one inch flat brush as well as my number 10, number four, and number one inch <laughs> not inch and number one round brush. Don't forget to have a rag handy for cleaning your brushes off and a cup of water. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with my one inch flat brush and some blue paint. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of make like an arced line. Uh, this is just a little bit above my, my center point. Everything above that I'm gonna paint in with this great blue color. This is the dark blue. And then I'm also going to make um, just a flat space here at the bottom with that same color. So go ahead and paint those two areas in with a dark blue. I'm not going to wash my brush off. I'm going to kind of leave it dirty and I'm going to grab some purple paint and I'm going to put a little bit of purple up here. Didn't wash my brush off, so I'm okay if those two colors kind of blend. And then right along this edge, if I just take my brush and I just go back and forth several times, those two colors will blend together perfectly. All right, pull that purple on down. And then down here towards the bottom of the purple, I'm gonna add some white paint to my brush. Bring those colors all the way down to this blue. Kind of roll this white on up into my bluish sky. Take that brush and wash it off. Now while my canvas is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and lay out some mountains. I'm, I'm going to put my penguin over here. He's going to have a nice big head. But I'm going to put some mountains on this area. So wash that brush off really good. Wipe it off and I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit. So when we're painting the mountains, you can see how we're going to do this. All right. So we are looking at the bottom left side of my canvas and I'm going to go in with my white paint right here and I'm going to take it and I'm just going to make some lines that kind of go down at an angle. Some can be taller, some can be shorter, but these are going to be my mountains. And then I can kind of stop there because I know my penguin's going to be in this area. So now I can go on this side and I can kind of bring these down and you don't have to have mountains that are perfectly straight. You can kind of give them a little bit of a jagged line to them. And some of your mountains might cover up other ones and that's okay. Wipe my brush off now. Here's how my mountain line's going to go. Um, now that I've kind of got them laid out. So I've got my two big mountains and several little mountains in the middle. So I'm going to make my, my lighter side on one side of my mountain. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to kind of gently tap on the right hand side. So as you can see, I've lightened up the one side of my mountains and the other side, I still have those lights on. So I'm gonna wipe my brush off, wash it off and just kind of set it aside. I'm gonna go in with my um, number 10 inch round brush and maybe a little bit of blue paint. And if you even wanna add just a small amount of black to it, you can, but then I'm just gonna go in and make this one side over here just a little bit darker. Um, when we have our mountains, we really want there to be a very, big drastic difference between our light side of the mountain and our dark side of the mountain. So a little bit of blue, maybe a small amount of black, and I'm just going to fill in 
this area that I did not add any white paint to. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add in our penguin and our sky. With a dry background, we are gonna lay out where our penguin's going to go. So I'm gonna start with my um, number 10 round brush and some white paint. And with that white paint, I'm gonna go right down here and I'm gonna make a big, huge oval shape. So I do wanna kinda make sure that I cover up not too much of the mountain, but a lot of it. So my big, this is gonna be the belly and the eyes of my penguin. My eyes will be up this way. So that's about the size I want this to be. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this whole space in white. wash and dry that brush off. And then with my black paint, I am going to make um, an area just right around this that is gonna be black. So it's almost like a, a little bubble around my penguin that's going to be black. Now my little penguin arms, I'm gonna go about halfway down my body here and I'm just gonna make a curved line up, kinda like a smiley face, and then a curved line back down. Really the other side, we're not even gonna see it so we're not gonna worry about it. But I am going to go ahead and make the little dip for my eyes. So right here, right in the middle of the top of this, there's going to be a little part that just kind of shoots down right here. And I know that that, that white's still dry. We can add a second layer of black to this when it dries, but there's just this little area that just kind of pops down that's going to separate our penguin's eyes. So we are going to let this part dry before we add any more to our penguin, but while it's drying, we can add some of our stars to our sky. Now, you can use a paintbrush that has a pretty flat backside to it, or you could even use um, a pencil with like a nice eraser to it. Any of those will work. If you use the pencil, you're gonna get some bigger stars in your sky. So maybe if you wanna like put a constellation in, you can do that, but your stars can also be different sizes. You can also turn these into snowflakes, um, but I'm going to keep mine as stars. And I think I do like the bigger stars all the way around. So I'm going to use the back of a pencil to make my stars. We're gonna let our little penguin dry. When we come back, we will add in our penguin details. Now that we have a dry background, let's start to add in some of our fun details. So I am gonna have my penguin um, wearing a hat. And you know, you can skip this step if you want your penguin to look more realistic, that's totally fine. But I'm gonna have my penguin wearing a hat. Actually, I'm changing my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a second layer of white paint because I think I want it to be a little bit brighter white and I can see some of my paint brush strokes. So I'm gonna add on a second coat of white paint. Then I'm gonna give my penguin a hat. Now let's talk about a penguin hat. 
I'm gonna make my penguin head light purple. So I'm actually gonna take some white paint and my purple paint and mix it together. Um, I really like how all the cool colors in this painting are going together. So the light purple is gonna go perfect with that. And with my number 10 round brush, I'm gonna just make a little curved line at the top of his head, okay? And that curved line is gonna be just slightly wider than the shape of the head. And then from there, I am going to make a little wavy line up and a little wavy line down. And I could just paint that whole space in with this light purple color. I'm gonna take a little bit of dark purple on my brush and I'm just gonna put some right along the edge and maybe right along here, maybe there's gonna be a crease right there. Just kind of brush that color on in. Now I'm gonna add some smaller dots in the sky. I was thinking about that as I was letting this dry. And I think I'm gonna add some smaller dots for some more um, stars, but not quite as big. So I'm gonna use um, the back of my paintbrush this time, and I'm going to do the white paint. Yeah, I do like that. I love the big stars, but I also want there to be a variation. I do like all that that's really cute um, we're gonna go ahead and add in our eyes on our penguin um, if you've ever painted with me before you know that I love making my eyeballs with my finger so we're gonna put two little round eyes right here in the center of this area I just use my finger and kind of move my finger around to make it a little bit more of a neat circle. You can always take a brush if you need to um, to kind of clean up any edges of your circle if they're they're not quite as smooth as you want them to be but I could find that a finger works pretty good on making some great circles. And just underneath there with my black paint I am also going to use my ittiest bittiest brush so my number one round brush and I am going to make a small little curved line underneath his eyes. So right here, just a small little curved line. Then I'm gonna go in with my number four brush and a little bit of white paint, not white paint, a little bit of pink paint. And I'm just gonna make a couple of little lines underneath here. And mind you, my painting is wet, so I'm gonna get a really nice light pink color, which is what I'm going for. Nice light pink color. And then with some of that orange paint, I'm gonna go right here between my eyes and my little pink space. And I'm gonna make a curved line that touches up to that black point. I'm gonna make a big smiley face down here. I've got like a smiley face and a frowny face. And then I'm gonna connect these lines by just kind of adding a little swoop down and a swoop back up and fill this space in. And remember, I want it to be a little bit lighter orange, so that's why I'm doing this when the paint is still a little bit wet, because I'm okay with that light orange color coming through. I'm 
gonna come up here to the top of his hat and I'm gonna add on here a bunch of little lines that kind of start right here at the center and kind of pull their way out. We're gonna give him a little fluffy top to his hat. I'm gonna go right down here along this bottom edge and I'm just gonna add some dabbing lines along the bottom so it looks like he's got some fluffy along the bottom of his hat right where his hat meets his head and this does not have to be even and it is okay if it gets a little bit of purple in it And I'm gonna let him dry. When we come back, we will add in our final details to our penguin. Let's finish this cute little penguin up. I'm gonna start with my number four brown brush and a little bit of watered down black paint. When I try to make skinny black lines, a lot of times I will water my black paint down because I feel like it goes on a little bit more like ink, okay? And with that skinny little ink line, I'm gonna go from right here down and then back up to the corner of the mouth. I'm gonna wash that brush off. I'm gonna use the back of the brush to add some highlight lines to his eyes. So with a little bit of white paint on the back of my brush, I'm gonna put a big dot with a small dot, a big dot, the small dot. I'm gonna add a couple of highlights to his body. So with a clean brush and some white paint, I'm just gonna add a couple little lines right here, some little ghost lines. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. And then again, along the side of his body, this little guy's swimming, so he's gonna have a little bit of shine to him. Maybe even just a little bit on the top of his nose. Now, if you want to add any details to your snowman's, your snowman, to your penguin's hat, you can do that with some polka dots or some white lines. Um, it's really up to you. I am going to add a little bit of a highlight to this hat. just so we can kind of see where his hat is. Um, and then really, I think he's done. I'm gonna go ahead and sign it and send it your guys' way. So I always say at the end of your painting, you always wanna take a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your name. I always put my initials down in the bottom right corner. And don't forget, I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it on our Facebook page. So look up Painting with a Purpose on Facebook and send us your picture. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you are kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.